Hello everyone. Yesterday we had started our new chapter that is nutrition in animals and we have discussed the basic definition of holozoic mode of nutrition. Isn't it students? And one more thing that we have discussed yesterday that is nutrition. How nutrition, how nutrients are taken up by amoeba. Clear? Now, let's recall the nutrition taken up by amoeba. See, amoeba used to follow the false feeds, that is pseudopodia, extended pseudopodia and form a cup-like structure around the, around the prey, around the food and then takes that food inside the body. And then it means that takes inside is the ingestion of the food. And then digestive enzymes helps in the digestion of that food. Absorption, assimilation takes place inside the body. Means whatever the food taken up by amoeba is a start giving energy to that organism. And then whatever the waste is produced while performing this process is collected in a vacuole and released out with the help of pseudopodia only. Okay students, now our next thing is nutrition in some other animals. See, here I am going to tell you about how some other organisms are taking their nutrition. See. Paramecium. Paramecium. The body of paramecium contains hair-like structure out on its surroundings, on the outermost layer. And that cilia, that hair-like structure is called as cilia, which helps in collecting the food and throw the food inside the body. As you all know that paramecium is also a unicellular organism. But the difference in amoeba and paramecium is that amoeba is having a irregular shape while paramecium is having a definite shape. See, this is the diagram of paramecium. Here I am going to show you, see, hair-like structure which is present outside the body and this structure is known as cilia. See, these cilias, what is the role of these cilias? See, this is also a freshwater organism. When prey comes in contact with these, with these paramecium, then these cilias hold that food, lighter particles of that food and, and throw them inside the body so that the food is taken up by the organism. Clear everyone? Now the next is Hydra. Hydra takes in food with the help of tentacles. See, tentacles is the, we can say, antennas. Some antennas are present at the body, at the top of the body of Hydras. Hydra is also an organism, is a, mi a microorganism, we can say. See, I am showing it to you. Yes. Here, these are hydras. They are having tentacles, antennas at the top of their body. And what is the role of these antennas? They are capturing the, capturing the food, capturing the prey. And yes, like this, they are taken up by the body. Clear? These antennas are putting the or keeping the in prey inside the body. Clear? Through the, with the help of these tentacles, hydras are collecting the food. Yes, now snails scrap the algae of the rock. Snails, you all know, it is a small organism which is found near the coastal areas, near the seashores, oceans, etc. Rocks. Where, from where these snails are getting the food? They are scrapping. Scrapping means kurachna. 
they are they are collecting the algae which is which is deposited on the rock see algae is an is a plant is an organism which is present in the moist areas where the level of water in the air as well as in the in the on the surface will get increase that is the favorable condition for the growth of this organism algae when algae will get deposited over there on the rocks due to the presence of moisture or we can say water then snails eat them by scraping by scraping the algae from the rock let me show it to you see this snail is scraping the algae from the rock see on the surface the algae it is the surface of the rock where algae is deposited see this is the deposition of algae and this snail is collecting the food from there okay now insects like butterfly have a long sucking tube called proboscis you all know that butterflies are the suckers they are sucking the nectar from the flower and this is the food of butterflies so with the help of proboscis a long sucking tube butterflies are getting their nutrition see this is the structure of butterfly and these are the proboscis which is present near the mouth at the place of the mouth and these butterflies are collecting the nectar or sucking the nectar with the help of these proboscis a long sucking tube okay students now spiders you people are familiar with them that's why i'm not going to show it to you spiders what spiders do see they are living in a web spiders used to used to knit weave their web do you know what is the from where they are getting the thread of the web whatever the saliva is secreted by the spider they used to weave the web weave means bunna preparing the web with the help of that saliva which is releasing out from their mouth in the form of thread okay spiders used to trap their prey in the web whatever the prey means a small insects are trapped in the web they eat them this is the simplest way of getting the food okay snakes snakes like reptiles swallow their prey whole you all know that large snakes like python use to swallow their prey prey whole whatever their food is frog lizards they use to swallow nigal lete hain whole food frogs capture its prey by its long sticky tongue yes small insects like flies bees are captured by the frog mosquitoes are captured by them with a long sticky tongue their tongues are sticky and whatever the prey is it get stick on the tongue of the frog now animals like herbivores carnivores omnivores and scavengers whatever the animal animals we are familiar with them uh, cows buffaloes uh, ox deer tiger etc we are doing what how they are getting the food they are they are chewing their food do you, have you ever chewed the food yes we all are regularly chewing our food okay students so this is the way of getting the food of us this is all about some specific small organisms now we will discuss about human digestive system our digestive system which is really very interesting yes students human digestive system consists of two things one is alimentary canal and the second one is digestive glands the these two things are combining together to form whole human digestive system do you know human beings are having 
number of systems in their body respective systems see we are having different system for respiration we are having different system to release out waste that is excretory system we are having different system for the working of our brain or heart that is circulatory system and nervous system clear etc we are having 11 such type of systems which are working continuously in our body here we are going to discuss about one of them human digestive system our body have specific organs which are working for this function it doesn't mean that our leg will get involved in digestive system our hand will get involved in digestive system no there are some specific organs which are responsible to deal with this system this system consists of an elementary canal elementary canal canal you can easily to understand this word very clearly just consider canal as a row or you can say drain see we are having a number of drains in our areas a specific drains for the flow of water such type of drain a canal is lying from the mouth to the anus anus the part from where we are releasing out our waste and mouth the part from where the food will get entered in our body this is, this canal this drain is known as elementary canal the pathway by which food enters our body and moves out through the anus during digestion it is a tube like a structure which starts from the mouth and ends in the anus elementary canal plays a primary role in the human digestion and is also termed as digestive tract what is digestive tract way rasta from where the digestion of food takes place the way clear everyone do you know students that the length of elementary canal is approx 30 feet it can be of how much long it is do you know 30 feet just think about it and the second thing is digestive glands see students let me explain you the meaning of glands glands portly are you familiar with some with some sac pori portly digestive glands those sacs which are containing some liquids related to the digestion some specific liquids which are coming out through these glands and help in the process of digestion so these glands are salivary glands pancreas liver gastric glands and intestinal glands these glands secretes digestive juices which help in the digestion see students whatever we are eating you all know that that food contains a number of nutrients it means we have to we have to break the food in such a way so that carbohydrates will get collected together fats will get collected together proteins will get released from the food and collected together so specific glands release specific juices some specific fluid and which help to digest some specific nutrients that we will study in human digestive system from tomorrow for today you have to understand it properly that what is elementary canal and what is digestive glands clear everyone now your homework page number 12 let's answer a column of blue color is given in your book the name of this column is let's answer and you have to answer that column properly 
I will tell you the answer of that column in the evening onwards. Okay, students. Thank you.